there for eight days. Well, my friend, for a longtime friend named Lawrence, uh, lives in Amsterdam, so we were visiting him. No space cake consumption this time. Not this time. <laughs> Maybe next time, Lawrence. Yeah. Um, Been there, done that. Well, we had a couple of cool food experiences, I thought. The first one is Lawrence and his brother Julian took us out to, I guess it was breakfast, at a place where they served just one thing, and it, they're called puffridges. And they were basically just tiny little pancakes, but they have this like, their, their entire griddle is specifically made to cook these pancakes, and so they make them really quickly and a lot at a time. Yeah. And then uh, what toppings did we get on there? Powdered sugar and butter. Like a whole block of butter on there. Yeah, I, you, you couldn't even see the puffages underneath all the butter and the sugar. And guess what? It was delicious. The other favorite food that, uh, okay. that we had there was, not even Dutch, uh, it's Italian, pasta. But <laughs> yeah. Lawrence has sort of perfected his tagliatelle making. Mm -hmm. It took a Dutchman to yeah. teach me how to do it. But that was, I mean, so delicious, silky smooth pasta. Mm, we definitely so good. need to work that into our rotation. So nice, like bolognese sauce. Another day, we discovered our new favorite sport, which is padel. It's like tennis, but on a smaller court. You may think, oh, pickleball? No, not pickleball, because there's a glass wall around the whole court, similar to racquetball. Right. So it's kind of like racquetball meets pickleball in a way. Mm -hmm. uh, it's super popular all across Europe right now. Yeah, and played some badminton in the back garden. That was a felt very proper playing badminton. It got super hot one day, and we had a pool day. Had a blast, four of us. After all spritz, hanging out in the pool in Amsterdam, what could be better? Well, let's talk about our journey getting to Amsterdam. Oh God, mm. I had already blacked this out. <laughs> so we went from Croatia, but we had a, a layover in Serbia. I highly recommend not ever having a layover there. It turns out the airport in Serbia is like extremely unorganized and it's no one's responsibility to help <laughs> it's anyone. no one's responsibility. We get to Serbia, guess who's playing left? They didn't wait for us. Got on a 6 a.m. flight the next day to Amsterdam. We got to Amsterdam and we had no bags. Luggage was lost. In Serbia. <laughs> In Serbia. We went to Zara, we got two outfits each. Yeah. And that's what we lived on for the next five days. Until miraculously, somehow Serbia found our bags, sent yeah. them to Amsterdam and, and now we're fine. I mean, after me, you know, sending multiple emails a day, getting told to be patient. Yes, our bags got delivered. Magically, as Nico says. And honestly, I'd come to like terms with it. I was like, if we lose our luggage, whatever, dude. Yeah, it's we're fine. at peace. We lived a good life. <laughs> One of our first days in Amsterdam, we went to an outdoor windmill museum. Oh, like, tons of like active windmills, and some are sawmills, some are functioning chalk grinding mills that they then infuse different colors into to make paint. Being on the inside of a windmill, you don't realize how powerful they are. There's huge gears turning and if the wind is going, which it was luckily that day, it's a powerful beast to be inside of a windmill. And there was like a cool cheese making section. They had like purple lavender goat cheese that was delicious. And then a whole part of the museum was dedicated to clog, wooden clogs. Had some demonstrations. They just, you know, go from a wooden block to all the way to the finished product. And those were originally worn for like working purposes, kind of like the original steel toed boot. Sort of. I already forgot that, but you really yeah. took it. You took it in the history. I sure did. <laughs> then we took a little boat across this canal, a little water taxi, and walked around this lovely town. The Dutch architecture is just so cute. So the next day we went into downtown Amsterdam mm -hmm. and we saw Lawrence's apartment. Um, we spent some time on the rooftop terrace. Yeah, we're definitely coming back, Lawrence. So get that guest room ready for us. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. Like and subscribe. There you go. <laughs> Bye. Well done.